as I mentioned at the end of the previous exercise, we'll go after the header in just a little while. The changes that we're going to make to the header are graphical in nature, so we'll take care of that when we get to graphics. So let's jump down to the main navigation menu. So I don't want to do much to this guy. He looks pretty good. There's only a few minor changes that I want to make to him. I want to get rid of the underline on the menu items that we have here. And I also want to increase the font size on these guys as well. So let's go and take care of this over inside our external style sheet. So what I'm going to do here, first of all, is I'm going to go and find the compound rule nav li. And once again, make sure you're inside your high resolution media query. So again, this does get a little bit more complex. So nav li is the guy that we're after. And he has display inline and the margin left. Just after the closing semicolon for the margin left, I'm going to drop my cursor in there and throw in a space. And here's what I'm going to do. I want to increase his font size. Now, when you're setting your font sizes, what you can do is you can use a fixed size if you wanted to. I could do something like 24 point or 24 pixels, something like this. That would be fine. But that's a fixed size. Another option that I could make use of, if I so choose, is I could use a relative size. So in other words, a font size that's going to scale depending on the conditions. So what I could do is I could do something like this, 105%. Now what that means is we want this text to be 105% of the default font size. So just a little bit larger than the default font size, which of course would be 100%. So let's see what we get here. Go ahead and save this and head over to your browser and refresh. There we go. So the menu items are just a little bit bigger than they were previously. So you can experiment with this. You could go back and you could try 110 or 120, kind of monkey around with it a little bit and see what you get. But just kind of a neat idea that I wanted to bounce off you. Now, the other item that I want to take care of in this exercise is the underlines on our menu items. I want to get rid of those guys. Now, the reason why we're getting underlines on our navigation items is because these guys are all hyperlinks. Don't forget, way back when, we set these guys up to be null links, if you'll recall. So that's where the underline is coming from. So what I need to do is I need to go and find the formatting for the hyperlinks inside the list items inside the nav element. Okay, so it's the compound rule nav lia. So that's the guy that you're after again inside your high resolution media query. So go ahead and find that guy. His color we had set to white. The other thing I'm gonna set for this guy is something called text decoration. I don't know if you've messed around with this property before, text dash decoration, and I'm gonna say none, like so. Go ahead and save and refresh, there we go. The underlines are gone, perfect, just like that. So there we go, there's our main navigation menu looking pretty darn good here. There's one other thing I want to bounce off you. This is kind of unrelated to working with our formatting inside the browser. This is more related to keeping yourself organized inside your external style sheet. This is just an idea that I want to throw at you. What you can do is you can leave things as they are now. That's perfectly fine if you want to do that. Or sometimes what I'll do is something like this. Give me just one second to get myself organized. There we go. Something like this. So I have three rules related to my navigation menu. So I have the nav and then the two compound rules. So all I did here is I just tucked the two compound rules underneath the main nav element. So sometimes I'll do this again, just for a visual, for an organization uh, method here or approach. So just keeping all these guys together, they're unrelated to anything else inside the layout. So I'll just kind of set them all together there. So anyway, this is just one idea you may want to make use of in your own work. Now, more importantly, what we want to do next is we want to move on to our slideshow. We have just a very quick minor change to make to the slideshow.